one of the mistakes that we often make as real estate agents, as entrepreneurs, is we get ourselves into this place where we chase the next commission and we're not focused on the actual client in front of us. And something that we've held very true to us is humans over homes. It's a fundamental belief that we have. <laughs> Humans over homes, it's something that I believe very firmly and something that we hold here at Sheridan Street, that success leaves clues and the most successful real estate agents, I'm gonna walk you through in this video what they're doing today in this market to put humans over homes and actually make more money in real estate doing that. See, in the world of real estate, it's really easy to get caught up in the idea of chasing the next commission, chasing the next thing, chasing the next shiny object syndrome. And it's something that we as real estate agents, we as entrepreneurs, we face consistently. We have this shiny object syndrome. One of the mistakes that we often make as real estate agents, as entrepreneurs, is we get ourselves into this place where we chase the next commission and we're not focused on the actual client in front of us. And something that we've held very true to us is humans over homes. It's a fundamental belief that we have. And another fundamental belief that we have is all conversion happens in conversation. And in this video, I wanna outline three things that top performing agents in the industry are doing in order to really create success, long-term success in their business. See, last week I had to make a difficult decision and fire two clients that were not in alignment with where we were going as a company. And it wasn't serving the people that we, we are looking to serve. One of the things that I've learned along the way is the top performing agents don't care whether or not the prospect or the future client is what we call them, is looking three, six, nine, 12 months down the road. They just wanna serve people at a high level because they know that if they can get face to face, belly to belly with the prospect, even if they don't necessarily buy right away, if they buy six months, 12 months down the road, they have the fundamental belief that that person could lead to another introduction. There's, see, there's beauty in the idea that when you meet somebody you don't know, they then have the ability to connect you with somebody you don't know in your local market and you never know who they're connected with. So the reason I let these two clients go is they didn't share this ethos to business and to life that everybody is a potential future client. In sales over the last 10 years, what I've realized is that the vast majority of people that we think are now buyers end up becoming later buyers because we have presuppositions about buyers and sellers. And the vast majority of people that we think are later buyers sometimes become now buyers with the right information. See, there's so many people that are on the sidelines with bad information, like Uncle Fred or Uncle Tom or mom and dad are saying that you need 20% down in order to purchase a home. Now, if you just shift your perspective towards humans over homes, you can make some massive things happen in your real estate business. See, for me, that's a fundamental belief that I have about humans over homes, that the idea of a shitty lead or somebody that doesn't necessarily know what they want doesn't make them not a five-star prospect. A five-star prospect often is created through the right questions, is created through the right information, and is created through finding them what they're looking for and meeting them where they're currently at. So your ability to serve other people, to educate them and to be the knowledge broker in the industry impacts your bank account. The more you focus on serving the needs of the client, the more karma or call it whatever you want will come back to you a tenfold. See, in real estate, it's so important that we shift our perspective and we shift our mindset from a transactional standpoint to a relationship standpoint. If you can do this, and if you look at the top performing teams in the industry, they make this shift. They require their agents to service everyone at a really high level. And that would be one of my encouragements to you. Now, when I'm talking about top performing real estate professionals in the market that really treat every lead with respect and care, ha really have the mindset of humans over homes, the first person that comes to mind is one of our clients, Mike, who has recently been able to convert a ton of online leads in an area where multiple other agents say online leads don't work because he treats every single person that he comes in contact with with respect and care. And how does he do this? So I'll give you a snapshot of some of the results that he's been able to create inside of his real estate business in about 30 days. He has three listings under contract, one have already closed. He's met with tons of buyers and sellers. He's connected with people in his local community. He has an irresistible offer. He's really great on the phone and he's able to take somebody that is not necessarily looking right now, is looking for information 
over the finish line. Like, how does he do that? Let me explain. He asks good questions. He digs deeper. He uses a terminology that we call chunk up, chunk down. So chunk up, chunk down, what it is, what chunk up, chunk down is, is it allows you to actually uncover the real needs of the prospect through sorting questions. Because one of the mistakes that real estate agents make in the online space, or one of the mistakes that they make in conversations is they ask questions that are difficult to answer without opening up the prospect. What a sorting question does is it allows the prospect to answer an easy question. So for example, this would be a sorting question. Now, Tom, if you don't mind me asking, what is more important? Would you say that big backyard or you want your home to be closer to a school? Like what is most important of those two? And it allows the prospect easily to answer the question. So we call that chunk up and chunk down. What that is, is asking a simple phrasing of a question. Why? For example, you could say something like, Okay, Tom, like, if you don't mind me asking, like, why is that big backyard important? And then you're going to uncover the real needs of the prospect. And that is what Mike is doing. Mike is asking good questions. He's of uncovering, Mike is asking good questions. He's uncovering the true needs of the prospect. And then he's asking for an in-person meeting using our game plan frame. He has this shift in mindset of humans over homes and that he wants to meet with every single person he comes in contact with so he can educate them and be the knowledge broker in the industry. The top performing agents have this mindset of humans over homes, meet with everyone, connect with everyone, sit down with everyone, and that's how you win in today's market. See, it's important to remember as a real estate agent that success goes beyond the transaction. Success in real estate is long-term. And so many people are focused on just the now, the commission right here. And that's one of the easiest ways to go out of business. Something that we've learned along the way from interviewing hundreds of real estate agents, hundreds of top producers on the Our Agent podcast, and just through talking with them. So a lot of them are our clients. A lot of the teams that we advise are really large teams, and they all share this ethos to business and to life humans over homes, connections, relationships, giving people value through education and meeting with them regardless of their timeline. So if you're really looking to take your business to the next level this year, I encourage you to shift the mindset, shift the perspective towards humans over homes and watch your business grow this year.